uh, no, we didn't speak about money. It was uh, pure about what is the federation want to do, what to want to achieve in the future, and why I am maybe a future player for them. It was not about money. It was nothing about this. Um, it was pure about, okay, why maybe you're going to be part of the team, what we want to achieve in the future, a uh, small future, like in one year, in two, three years, five years. And they try to to make the next step with the Indonesian national team. And I told them, yeah, I really want to be part of that. And it was, yeah, only discussed about these things and I was interested. So I only listened, but it was not about money or or numbers. Sir, miss, if you see this, um, I hope you can have contact with me because um, then we can talk about the future. Maybe I can be a part of the international, international team from Indonesia. And hopefully we can uh, achieve some beautiful moments and uh, games. So please let me know. <laughs>
yeah, to show the world that I'm an Indonesian guy and I want to play for them. I want to defend them. So yeah, of course, uh, I was disappointed. Was also yeah a little bit my own choice because with the timing. But now when they call me, yeah, of course, uh, I'm gonna listen to them and speak and try to to organize everything so that it can be more fast than than one year. Uh, yeah, these things we have to, to talk about, you know, because it was a long time ago. Um, if you're gonna talk now, I hope we can we can organize it. They can organize it for me. They help me, and I will do my best to to do it so fast as possible. But yeah, first of all, they have to contact me again if they still want me. My uh, grandmother. She born in Jakarta, uh, even like my grandfather. And then, yeah, they come to, to Holland. So my mom, yeah, is also an uh, Indonesian woman. And my father is uh, a blanda, a Dutch guy. And yeah, this is the reason I'm yeah, mixed. Uh -huh. But I feel also, yeah, really much Indonesian. I was there already three times. I three times to Jakarta, to Bali. Um, I've seen a lot. I've also, yeah, family there uh, in Indonesia. So, yeah, I feel very proud to be it. And yeah, we also, we are in Holland, but we, we have the culture from Indonesia, you know, the food, the language is, I didn't speak the language so well. So I understand some things. So it's okay. It's okay. But I, I try to improve. Yeah, I get so warm feeling about the country. First of all, uh, the people, the people are so nice. You know, there you feel there's a, there's one community. It's like everybody so lovely and so, so helpful. The temp temperature, the the kitchen, the food. We ate it also here. When my grandmother or my mom is cooking, we all almost every day, we eat Indonesian food. So, yeah, I get used to it. And the yeah, only good feelings, the weather, the, the beaches, the people, the everything. I like when my grandmother um, makes other gado gado. <laughs> okay. the, uh -huh. um, but also I like the, um, yeah, almost everything, rendang, everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, gado gado is a traditional food from Jakarta. It's yeah, that's right. yeah. From Jakarta. <laughs> yeah, that's the reason my grandmother makes it so very well. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, anyway, you said uh, the word Belanda. Belanda is a uh, Indonesian language, right? You know that. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> can you say anything in Indonesia? In, in I know Indonesia? a lot. I know a lot of uh, basics, but to understand is more easy than to speak. Oh, maybe Sorry, no, you, you can uh, like my name is Jordi. Can you uh, can you say it with with Indonesian? Indonesian. Yeah, saya nama Jordi. Okay, okay, that's good. <laughs> yeah, it's, I, it's because of, you know Dutch, English, German. Mm -hmm. You know, try to speak Indonesian, but this is I speak uh -huh. now almost four. Uh, yeah, I try. I want to speak four languages completely. So yeah, make process, but take some time. <laughs> No, I love it. I love it because um, here in Holland, it's always cold, you know, always cold, windy, rainy. So when I come to Indonesia, that's what I told you already. Like it's one of the most beautiful things there. Like the whole year, it's good weather. Of course, you have also the rainy periods and the seasons, but most of the time, the temperatures for me, it's perfect. Also to play football. Okay. Some players prefer to play at, you know, uh, sometimes in the winter because then it's not too warm, not too sweaty. But for me, I love the summer. Oh, um, yeah, there's uh, more reasons. Uh, one of all, um, like what I told you, I feel an Indonesian guy. Of course, I'm born here and I have also the, the Dutch blood, but 
I grew up with the Indonesian stuff, with the food, with the um, yeah, with the stuff. You know, like my my mother always told me like, okay, this is how we do it, and this is yeah, I feel more Indonesian than Dutch in that way. Also, the other thing is like um, for me, Indonesia is an, a beautiful country. I'm proud of it, and I want to show it, and I see what. Uh, football does for the people you know like the people are so motivated so get so much energy from the football and if i can be a small part of that mm -hmm. to to accomplishment for the people yeah of course i, I will be proud of that mm -hmm. and also yeah like another thing for my grandmother i think it's the most beautiful thing for her born there raised up there to see her grandson uh, fight in the red t-shirt with the Garuda, I think it's yeah, the perfect way for me. Yes, and this, this is what I told you, like, I really enjoy when I see the people, they are so motivated, so hungry to, to support their team. And this for me, I get goosebumps when I see this because I want to be part of that. And even I'm a small part in that team, that can help the team uh, further to make the next step. Yeah, of course, I want to be in this process. Uh, no, we didn't speak about money. It was uh, pure about what is the Federation want to do, what to want to achieve in the future and why I am maybe a future player for them. It was not about money, it was nothing about this um it was pure about okay why maybe you're going to be part of the team what we want to achieve in the future a uh, small future like in one year in two three years five years and they try to to make the next step with the indonesian national team and i told them yeah i really want to be part of that and it was yeah only discussed about these things and i was interested so i only listened but it was not about money or or numbers. At the moment, um, I have no contact with them. I hope they're gonna contact me because then we can talk, you know, because if they yeah, want me to play for Indonesia, then yeah, we have to, to contact with each other. We have to do meetings. And at the moment, there are yeah, no conversations, no meetings with them, between them and me. So yeah, I'm waiting for them if they want it and then yeah, we can discuss. Because mm -hmm. uh, uh, the Federation now has a new structure, has a new uh, president in, in the Federation. So they also not contact you yet, the new structure of uh, SSI? No, not yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm waiting. I hope uh, they will do it. That we, uh, yeah, can make plans for the future. So, is there any any words you want to say to them? <laughs> um, yeah, um, sir, miss, if you see this, um, I hope you can have contact with me because um, then we can talk about the future. Maybe I can be a part of the international international team from Indonesia and hopefully we can uh, achieve some beautiful moments and uh, games so please let me know <laughs> i think rafa has a, a beautiful future because he's in my eyes he's very talented he have, uh, he's a good winger fast he have a good shot with his right foot and he have the the, uh, the speed and the dribble to to create something so yeah i think uh, for indonesia is very very nice that he's yeah now there and he can play his games there and that ado yes now i'm at the moment i'm not play of ado anymore because i was on loan but i will still follow him of course and i keep in contact with him and i think he will make good steps Of course, um, always believe in yourself, in your qualities. Always train hard every day, even when you're tired, when you feel not that good. 
when you do the energy still push yourself and try to to work as much as you can because then you can follow your dreams at the moment um yeah i have no club but we are in, in contact with some clubs because yeah they want to sign me but for me it was not the right club so far so i'm training for myself yeah and in one year i hopefully in this month or in a few a uh, couple of weeks i'll have a new club i'll play in whole season um hopefully i can join the international uh national team of indonesia um and yeah and then um i hope we can achieve some good things i want to go back to my old level where i was two three years ago now this year i didn't play everything but yeah i'm still fit i'm still 24 i'm still relative young so yeah i trust in myself i trust the process and i will work hard for every moment and then at the end of the of the road i will can say i did everything for my job and this was my route. No, not definitely that as I don't want to go. Of course, I will listen. Uh, I yeah, I know the competition, you know. I know there are some good teams with, with Persib, with Bali, United. So yeah, I know already some things about the competition. Um, yeah, if they contact with me, of course, I want to listen. Uh, what are the plans with the team? I think Indonesia in a few years is going to be a higher level than it is now because I think I heard those all about, yeah some players in Europe they really want to to go to Indonesia and they sometimes they ask me for advice uh, what should I what should I do what do you recommend me I said of course you have to go there you have to catch a feeling and then please after that feeling after that travel come back and say what you yeah what you experienced so yeah, of course, I, I would listen. Um, I will not say that I want to stay in Europe. If there's a, yeah, a club in Indonesia who contact me with a good plan, with a good uh, look to the future, for me, this is very important that not only the view is on the moment, but also what does the club want in the future, where they want to be. Yeah, then I can listen, of course. Yes, of course, and that's a good thing if the players from the national team play in Europe. Of course, they have also uh, with the clubs, they play on a, on a good level. They train always hard, you know, this is the, the mentality here in, in Europe. So what you said, the quality is very high here. Yeah. But I think that's what I think in a couple of years, the level in Indonesia is always going to be up. You see it with the supporters, with the staff, like more people get involved to it more people are gonna love the football in Indonesia and th this will grow up but what I yeah, understand what you said like in Europe and you have so many good countries uh football countries where also the football lives very much by the supporters and the, the training's quality is very high that's true <laughs> to go next year because this year uh, I also wanted but I was not sure what I'm gonna do with the club here you know so I cannot go too long uh, to Indonesia yeah for me if it's uh, it's up to me I want to go every summer mm -hmm. of course then I want to stay two three four weeks but you know also with the football you have not always that long holidays so it has to fit in your schedule but yes I really want to go maybe in the winter uh, if the time is there, I want to join and yeah, hopefully I can come more often uh, to play the games there. Uh, of course, you will visit Bali, right? After you yeah. go to Jakarta. <laughs> yeah, it's also, but for me, Jakarta, I went there also three times. For me, it was, yeah, it's a beautiful city. You know, it's, it's big, it's people, it's busy. I love it there. Mm -hmm. And, but yeah, to enjoy, I also went to Bali. What you said, it's more quiet, more easy, but... Also, it's like a paradise. To all the supporters, um, no, thanks for listening to this at all, <laughs> first of all. 
um, yeah, what I see from the videos and what I heard that you are a great support for the national team. Please continue with that because I think and I'm sure that it helped the players to get more energy, to fight more and more and more. And hopefully we meet one day and I'm on the pitch and yeah, we can meet each other there at the stadium. I hope. Thank you very much.